Get the Heavenly Realm Healing MP3 at jasongallant.ca. One way to cut yourself off from the intimate experience that is here is to live in the land of dreams and goals. Now it's okay to have goals, but if those goals are taking you out of experiencing here, then you're living more in your mind than you are in the moment. I was talking to a guy a few days ago and I said, what do you want to do? What, uh, what do you want to do with your life? What type of creative endeavor do you want to embark upon? Or what career goals do you have? Because everybody has certain goals. You know, they're in alignment with survival. Some goals might be daily, some goals might be momentary, and some goals might be yearly. And this young man had a lot of goals. He said, I want to be rich. I want to have fancy cars. I want to have a big house. And I said, okay, so what are you doing right now? Like, what do you enjoy right now? He goes, oh, uh, oh, just my one hobby, lifting weights. I said, okay, so you enjoy lifting weights, but there's nothing else you enjoy. You don't enjoy people, relationships, friendships. You don't enjoy uh, relating in any way to other aspects of your life. He goes, oh, not really, no, I'm just kind of focused on one thing. And then I asked him, what makes you think that you're going to enjoy having a bigger house, enjoy having a bunch of cars, and enjoy having these other toys and gadgets when you don't enjoy anything right now? And he looked at me and he goes, well, I don't know. I guess that's what success means to me or what I've been taught and that seems to be what I should attain or what I should reach for. And my point of sharing this with you is that a lot of the goals that people have are not really their own. They've just been planted there. They've seen it somewhere and say, okay, I want people to accept me. I want people to love me. I want something, but I don't really know what that is. But if I have more stuff and more success, perhaps I will get that something that I don't know what it is. So when you're on the spiritual journey, you start to realize that you can have goals. You can get an education, you can get a career, you can uh, maybe have a goal of a relationship or, or whatever it might be, but you're not looking to those goals and their attainment for your happiness. One is in alignment with survival and being here is in alignment with happiness. So once you know that your happiness and fulfillment is not going to be found in a goal, it is found by receiving whatever is here. Now, if you attain that goal or don't attain that goal, you're not going to be emotionally distraught about it. It's not going to crush you when such and such event does not work out a certain way. Because you know. You just know that your happiness isn't found there. Your fulfillment isn't found there. That's just a detail. That's just like the television playing in the background as you're experiencing yourself. Lots of different movies and shows and commercials can be on, but that doesn't mean that you have to identify with them one way or the other and totally be horrified because Gilligan's Island is on instead of, you know, the Brady Bunch or something. I don't know. <laughs> So many people are caught in the realm of the mind and the realm of the mind is filled with goals and aspirations and the overwhelming need to reach these goals and aspirations. And the entire time you're living in that mind of goals and aspirations, you're missing your life. You're missing this moment. Fulfillment and happiness can only be found here in what is here right now not in what is in the future. 
That's really the irony. Sometimes people have such large ambitions and goals, but they never really take care of here, so the goals and ambitions never reach fulfillment. Because every decision you make can only be here. You can't go into the future or the past and make a decision. It's, it's always going to be here. And so it is also with your fulfillment and your happiness. Your happiness and fulfillment can only be here. So watch how your mind tries to take you to the future or the past. And discipline yourself to not follow that. I hope this helps. Take care for now.